It's your boys Gogo and Curtis, and we are live at Colorado Springs Cosmic Con. Curtis, tell the people about our convention today. Well, this is a local con uh, put together by Johnny Hernandez, the guy from the flea market we all know. Uh, we got new lo lunar harpoon hats. Thank you, Biggie. You know, these are fantastic. People ask who we are and what we're about, and we've got a panel that we're hosting as well uh, tomorrow, Sunday. But uh, so it'll be great. Sunday, October 23rd, 10.30 a.m. Come see the Lunar Harpoon panel and you can meet us one-on-one -on -one in person. And you can ask all those questions you've been dying to ask about action figures and video games. All right, Curtis, I don't know about you, but I'm ready to hit this con. Well, yeah, people are still, set, set, still setting up uh, over here. Um, so we're going to get our first looks. I picked up something already. I'm looking at something else. So let's have a look around, see if we can... Pick around and, and get the good stuff before everybody else, like we like to do. Come This is cool here, we found a booth that has a, little, a couple of Marvel Legends and this guy actually is a customizer. And look at some of his custom work here. Look at that gambit in the back, that's beautiful. And it looks like he's got a Black Seed Psylocke over there too. Okay, very impressive. So, but the more important thing... You got custom troopers too. Stuff on this. That's, that's the stuff. Oh, it's fit. That's the, st that's the stuff that I like. I'm sorry. You're good, dude. Oh, number? sorry. Uh, 757. <laughs> 254. Five, four. Yeah. Red alien. Yeah, the red alien queen. Yeah, yeah. That was a pain. A lot of red. I was going to say, that's the yeah. overspray turned it's over, entire, over the black. The overspray turned yeah. in my entire garage red. <laughs> it's, it's, it's ridiculous. It's like red mist and red dust everywhere. That Psylocke is great. Look at that. With the... Um, this with the purple hair. Mm -hmm. Do you need anything else? Anything else I got for Come back and come back and find me. I'll top anybody's prices. Okay. okay. So we take care of you. Yeah, yeah. All right. So we're gonna pick up a Series Five Saber Tooth, the figure I've actually came here looking for, and it's amazing. He has one right away, and it's the price I wanted to pay. So good start to the con. X Men six pack. Six pack. Don't get me no better than a six pack. It ain't like a six pack of beer though. Costs costs a lot more, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this booth looks like they got a lot of good Blu-rays. I've been looking for Captain America, the Winter Soldier. See if they got it. Looks like we got a bunch of DVDs, you know, like rare horror movies. Uh, Video Drome is a movie I've been after for a while. Yeah, they got a good collection of films here. And I, uh, Wreck, of course, the movie that worth looking through. Always evades me. Stephen King's. So fifteen. Good stuff, the Critters. That is cheesy horror goodness at its best. This is the guy who loves his cheesy horror. I do. That's Bert, early Burton, man. It's great. I mean, the cast in that movie is unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. Well, just like how the aliens talk, just back, 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 back,
just got everything. We've got comics and toys and games and celebrities. It's all the rage. All right. So here at CosmoCon, they have a separate room for gaming and video games and that kind of stuff. And they have a game we've been looking for forever. Def Jam Fight for New York. So looks like the search is finally completed. What the heck are these things? They're made of metal. You really hurt yourself with one of these. Bionic 6. Feel this one. He's like three pounds. Oh man. He's got heft. He's got a lot of heft to him. James Bond Jr. That's what these people are. Look at this guy. He's a kangaroo. You know, you know this guy's name, Curtis? No, I don't know. He's a turtle finger, though. Yeah. Sure. He, sits, he fits the, the, uh, the, turtle, the turtle mold, huh? Yeah, there's another Mutated kangaroo, kangaroo oh, Here's another one. Thank you, sir. Ooh. Let me see those Mutant League fo football guys. Oh, cool. Look at that couple of... Uh, guy with an M, maybe he's on the Midway Monsters, or this guy is like a goblin guy, and yeah. Yeah, I'd like, I'd, I'd like to find more of those, those are, yeah. those are super neat. Some Joes, some Star Wars. Star Wars? Hey, it's Yoda. Black Series, yeah, you never seen him. He's a little tiny. He's a little messed up. A little beat up. I wonder if I can get this OTC. He had a snake? Yeah, from. He's in Dagobah. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember that Oh, hey. Hey, there you go. Put a dish. It's the stuff. Our favorite. It's our favorite. Look at this pig pen. His head's so tiny. Yeah. Look at your daredevil. Is that uh... How much are you asking for the uh, dinosaur? The dinosaur? Uh, this one, yeah. Let's see what it says on the box. King's, King's Hawaiian, Hawaiian. Bread. So how much is it for a package of buns? Same price. Man, if anybody's qualified to watch this table. <laughs> so. you, look, you look straight as Guardian, dog. You don't even need the shirt. <laughs> I say, it's quite a name. The glory of Asgard and the All Father Odin. <laughs> Very familiar helmets. Denver Bronco helmet as usual. Get your photo with Chewbacca, Han Solo, and Carbonite. Just like. Cool. Well, Curtis, what have you found for us? He got the boat twice. Mystery. We went in, got the boat, and then went on another I'll Take the dive, see if I can find a, a mystery guy. There we go. You know how Curtis loves his mysteries. Yeah, so I like to keep it mysterious. He went in there, and he had to like... Alright, Curtis is popping his mystery pop. Let's see what he got for us. What'd you get? Survival suit checkoff. Hey, Star look at Trek that. Beyond. I got a few Star Trek pops. So I don't mind. Look at this blue card. What do you guys got over Yeah, so uh, we're uh, Alex Studios, uh, part of the Art Learning Expedition. And uh, here's our first comic book. It's called Mania. Okay. And. Uh, <laughs> 
So, uh, Mania takes place in the near future. Uh, in the right this, room. I'm the writer. Okay, excellent. <laughs> uh, takes place in the near future, about 30 years in the future, and it's in a sort of futuristic New York, or uh, Los Angeles. Uh, okay. Uh, owned by a city or a company called Fahrenheit. And basically, the big premise of it is what if superpowers came from mental disorders? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. So that's uh, what you're going over right now is our first issue. It's called The Shift. Mm-hmm. It features our first supermanic jumpster. Who gets his powers from depression. depression. Okay. And the city is very control-oriented, all about uh, keeping things orderly. Uh, and so these superheroes, these supermanics as we call them, mm-hmm. uh, they're not really welcome in the city. Okay. And so it's kind of about their struggle to survive. Uh, in a city that doesn't want them. So we see some of the conflict there. Uh, you know, we get to see these guys, which are the police bots that yeah, replace yeah. the police force and their struggles uh, having to deal with so you, them. So your heroes are called Superman. Yes. Okay. That's cool. So it's kind of like how um, in the X-Men world, it's like an aspersion is called all mutants. Yeah. Uh-huh. So in the, you guys just kind of use a different aspersive yeah. term. It's, yeah. yeah. It's the uh, the kind of the, the conflict, the clashing between technology and psychology. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. great. Man. So uh, really creative. For your viewers, they can come check us out at maniacomic.com and then see they can purchase the first and second issue. They just released our second issue uh, this week. Oh, right on. That's, yeah. that's great. And there's digital. All right. Very uh, cool. Digital, physical, all available. We've got t-shirts, prints as you can see. And a special um, variant cover. It'll we'll be around coming. for a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Right, right on. Uh, Sean Forney. Sean Forney. Yeah. 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 San Diego. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. You yeah. guys yeah, got in. Yeah. That's awesome. No, it is... It's great, man. It's a really creative premise, man. I really yeah. it. It, 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 look, it looks very interesting. We'll yeah. definitely give you a good plug here. Thing we're always looking for here. Cheap trades. Cheap trades. Cheap trades. We like to look through the deep Doom Patrol and Civil I'm War close. Prelude. Oh, look. Civil well, War Prelude. If you want to know what happened before Civil War, you know, besides all those movies. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like Savage Dragon. Oh, Savage Dragon? Yeah, that's kind of neat. Aquaman. Harpooners, Gogol here from Cosmic Con. We're here with a very special guest, Peter Greenwood. Hello. A voice actor and ex- uh, a producer extraordinaire. So that's what they tell me. Yeah. Peter, tell us about some of your work, man. Well, uh, some people would know me from the Power Rangers. I did Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue. I was Aquafine, the man who drained all of the water from the town. Okay. And then uh, on Power Rangers Turbo, I was the chap who threw all of the cars at the Rangers. <laughs> the character called Wolfgang Amadeus Grilla. Okay. And then, of course, I did the Beetleborgs, and I was Swordmaster and Mace Master on that series. Okay. And then I did a Walt Disney film called The Rescuers Down Under. Excellent. And uh, I also did Gumby. I'm Gumby's uncle, cousin, and about 20 characters on the Gumby series <laughs> okay. that was done in 87. Wow, yeah, I love that cartoon. Thanks. So, um, so what do you Rescuers, do? our favorite uh, Disney sequel by far, like I'd, I'd have to say. It was a tremendously well-produced movie. The directors on it were brilliant. Mike Gabriel and Hendel Gautoy did an absolutely magnificent job of that film. And it was the first Disney film not to use cells. A lot of people don't know that. Mm-hmm. Okay. It was also the first Disney film to introduce uh, CGI animation, or caps, as it was called back then. Okay, okay. So, yeah, we, did, yeah, yeah. we had a lot of firsts on Rescue Was Down Under. Yeah, I, was, I remember that because there was a lot of those really, like, wide... Yeah, a lot of Australian shots, landscape. They were beautifully choreographed. Yeah. The one thing that was wonderful about Rescue is, is they spent a lot of time and energy getting the, uh, the colors of Australia correct. The art direction on that film is absolutely superb. Yeah, it was and then we had a fantastic cast. John Candy, one of the nicest guys you'd ever want to meet. Uh, Ava Gabor, again, a very, very kind lady. Bob Newhart, uh, you know, comedy gold, of course. And uh, George C. Scott, who was an incredibly nice man. Not in, in any way like Pat. I've got to tell you, he was very sweet. <laughs> yeah, he was kind of short. Yeah. He was, he was lovely. He was really fun. Okay, excellent. So, um, 
Where do you get a lot of your motivation from when you do these different voices? Well, a lot of times when you do an animation, the first thing you get to look at is the model sheet. Okay. So when you look at the model sheet, you look at the character and you look at the girth of the character and the there's a lot to, that you can tell from the character design and that, based on that, that's when you start to create the voice accordingly. Okay. And, so, you know, fortunately, on, in the case of Disney, you have fantastic animation directors who know exactly what they're doing. Okay. All right. And so, um, and then uh, you were telling us earlier that you, you're a producer for, uh, for My yes, Favorite I, Martian. I do. If you buy My Favorite Martian DVDs from MPI, uh, I've produced the three seasons. Okay. And uh, all of the extras that go on the uh, the DVDs. Excellent, excellent. I also just recently released a, ba a bubble car um, card set in uh, in England for my favorite Martian. And also we did the model kit with Pegasus Hobbies, which you can buy. Excellent, excellent. Okay. Well, uh, we want to thank you for coming out to our con. Here. Hey, my and, pleasure. Uh, it was nice meeting you both. Yeah, yeah. And uh, <laughs> we love having you, and we look forward to. Well, I'm delighted to be here. And it's anything? a wonderful convention, and I, I hope everybody comes to it because it's uh, it's a wonderful event, and it really is a highlight here in Colorado Springs. I think. Audio levels. What do you mean by that? Just talk. Talk. Project. Yeah. Project. Yeah. Like say words with with the, with like some hump to it. Is that is that what you're looking some for? Affliction. Yeah. Give me. Give you me want some me emotion. to have a lot of voice <laughs> in my voice? Is that is that what I'm is that what I'm 